you know how to quickly get started with this 64 cross 32 pixels RGB LED matrix which I got from DF Robot. I do have this flex version as well as this regular version of these displays. Both of these runs with the similar code and similar libraries. In this getting started video, I'll be making a code to display steady text, scrolling text and image on this LED matrix. So let's get started. So these are the displays which I bought from DF Robot. I will leave the link for this in the description of this video. Now, this is how the connections of this node MCU and the display looks like. Here we have these two IDC connectors, one is for data in and other is for data out. Then we have this power input socket where I shouldered this DC socket on the wires to attach the power adapter. I have used this 5V 1A power adapter to power up this module. This is all about the connections. Now let's jump to the coding part. So this is the code required to run this display using Node MCU. First of all, you need to have this library called PXMatrix installed, which you can get it from the link mentioned in the code itself. Just download it and install it. Moving ahead, now here you need to uncomment the particular display which you are using. In my case, it is 64 cross 32 pixels, so I will uncomment this particular line. Next, this is the function where the hex code for the image is to be written. Now, if you want to display your own image on it, first of all, you need to resize your picture according to your matrix. Here, I have used this TechSMS logo and resized it into the 64 by 32 pixels. Now, I saved it in a JPEG format. Now, go to the link mentioned in the code and upload that JPEG file here. Click on convert to .c file and then click on this make file button. Now just download that file and now when you open that file into the text editor, you will be able to see this hex code. Just copy this hex code and paste it inside the Arduino code inside this particular function. That's it. This is how you can display any image onto this matrix. Now in the setup portion, I have displayed this image using this draw logo function and gave the coordinates as 0 cross 0. That logo will be printed for 2 seconds. Mm, let us change it for 5 seconds for now. Let's have a look over to the loop function. Here, as you can see, I have used the scroll text function in which we need to define the y coordinate first, then the speed of the scroll, then the text to be displayed, which is explore, learn and share in my case, and in the end, the RGB color of the text. So these are the parameters which you need to provide in this function which will print the scrolling text. Now going inside the scroll text function, as you can see here, we can define the text which is to be printed as steady text on the display. I just mentioned the parameters of this text just above it like cursor position, text size and color. There are several colors predefined in the code which you can use according to your choice. So this was all about the code. First the logo will be displayed for 5 seconds, then the steady text and scrolling text will be displayed on the screen forever. Now just select the right board and port and click on this upload button. So the code is successfully uploaded but as you can see the image was not displayed properly. It's because I haven't printed the image fully in the code. Here, I need to modify the limit of X position as 64 and Y position as 32 as I'm using the 64 cross 32 display. Now, I will upload this code again. As you can see, the image and the text is displayed properly according to our code. Now, if I upload this same code in the other display, you'll observe that it is also working perfectly on it. So this is how you can quickly get started with your display related projects using Node MCU. I already have a thought of making a cool project using this display which I'll be revealing soon on my YouTube channel. So make sure you already subscribed. And do let me know what you will make if you had this amazing display with you. Throw your ideas in the comment section. Ending this video here. 
If you like this getting started series, then do let me know in the comments regarding on what next device should I make this getting started video of. Other than getting started videos, I also used to upload some cool and innovative projects in the field of IoT, automation and electronics. Some explained videos on different technology or sensor and some short but useful tips and tricks. So just wait for my next video until then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS. <laughs>